<laughs> yeah. All right. You guys want to jump in? We'll play a game. Okay. Uh, if any of you are interested in staying in touch outside of Twitch, I'll just put some uh, some information here in the chat. Um, cool. So yeah, my my uh, Twitter is at John of Mark. And I'll put my SoundCloud. So this is the okay. last game, uh, the last official Handelabra stream of the day. Uh, but there's going to be many more streamers uh, streaming, and we're going to be guest hosting their channel. So uh, make sure to stay tuned. Uh, OTP Lawyer is going to be coming up after uh, Christopher Dade, a.k.a. Ronway, a.k.a. Cursed Ronway, a.k.a. Cursed Acolyte, Blair Stingley, Brandon King, uh, and more coming, uh, you know, all through the weekend. So. Uh, watch out for that. Uh, check our website for the schedule. Um, awesome. And OPT Lawyer is right in here. So, so yeah. So uh, in this final Handle Ever stream, we're going to be showing the villain of Mini Pack 2. Uh, who is that, Jennifer? That would be misinformation. Her name is a clever pun. Actually, uh, misinformation was the result of a create a villain contest that Greater Than Games held. Did you guys know that? I actually did not know that. Yeah, they had a... I did, but only because you told me. This was like in 2012, I think. They did a create a villain contest and people submitted ideas. Uh, and uh, they made misinformation from that. So she's actually the... Ad administrative assistant or office worker of the Freedom Five, and she works in their office. Uh, but she's sadly psychotic. Uh, I think there's some sort of temp... I can't remember the story exactly, but there's some sort of temporal mishap occurs. And uh, and she... I think she witnesses a timeline where she is killed and the heroes don't save her. And she doesn't feel very appreciative of that. Uh, and so she... She's working to undermine your efforts all the time. Um, and so on the front side, she actually doesn't have hit points. She's not a target. Uh, that's the first we've seen of that in uh, Sentinels so far. Um, there are later villains like that, but uh, this is the first one. And uh, yeah, so on this side, you can't even do anything. You can't attack her. You know, if you, uh, if a hero is forced to use a power that, that deals damage, they have to damage a hero, for example, if there's no other targets. Uh, so it can be a little tricky. Uh, and she she's going to be playing diversion cards and clue cards. Diversion cards are going to be things that are generally bad for us. Clues are bad for us, but we need her to play clues uh, so that she can flip over. Uh, and when she flips over, uh, she is the revealed saboteur. So we've, we've got enough clues to d decide or find out, <coughs> excuse me, who she is. And... Uh, yeah, so then, then you can start attacking her, and she's, she blows up clues and hits, you know, makes you hit yourself and all sorts of stuff. So let's just play her on normal instead of advanced, uh, just to get the introduction to her. Uh, and uh, do you want to go thematic? Do you want to maybe say in Megalopolis with uh, the Freedom Five? Sure. All right, so I'll grab Legacy. Mm -hmm. Zero. I'll take Ray. Okay, I'll take Tachyon, and one of you guys can play Tempest. Do you well, like Tempest? I know somebody who likes <laughs> Tempest. There is someone so. who has a Tempest icon. There is. Does that mean I, should, I get Tempest? Yeah. Yay. So if we had the Freedom Five, the Freedom Tower environment, that would be the sort of ultimate thematic, I think. But. Uh, but let's go with Freedom Tower. Yeah, Freedom, Freedom mm -hmm. Tower will come with Vengeance at the start of Season 2, so no worries. Uh, yeah, so one thing to note against misinformation, uh, with more heroes, it's more difficult, uh, in my experience, because she does more damage and need more clues. Uh, those are based on H. Uh, so let's get ready and go. It's okay, we've had so many good games that... We can <laughs> what could possibly go wrong? Maybe it's all been a, it's been an elaborate setup by misinformation. And she says, hmm, what's that? Oh, don't mind me. I'm here to help you, heroes. 
And so the, the story really is, as far as we know, you know, she's just helping us. And there's all these other things that we're fighting. All right. Oh, I forgot you to look have at our hands. I know that every time you play. <clears throat> yeah, I forgot to look at our hands, so I'll let this play through here. And uh, oh, great. Actually, that's that's not a bad thing to come up. So uh, legacies got back fist strike, lead from the front, motivational charge, and takedown. Absolute zero has field freeze, glacial structure, and both of his modules. That's nice. The Wraith has Grappling Hook and Prompt Invention, Razor Ordnance and Smoke Bombs. Uh, Tachyon has a few Burst Attacks and Research Grant and Sonic Vortex, whereas Tempest has a couple Lightning Slashes, Gene Bound Shackles, and Otherworldly Resilience. So the thing that we have to be careful about is misinformation destroys hero cards all the time. Uh, at the end of the villain turn, she's going to destroy X hero ongoing equipment cards where X is the number of diversion cards in play. And a lot of her other things destroy diversion cards too, or destroy hero cards too. So, for instance, Threat to the President, uh, at the end of the villain turn, the player with the most cards in play must destroy one of their cards. At the start of the villain turn, we can destroy five non-character hero cards to destroy this card. So... Here, uh, this, as another reality's debt, we can either discard your hand or destroy all of their cards. Uh, we can destroy all our cards because we don't have any, so that's not bad. Yeah, it's going to get play. This is a good time for it. Yeah, definitely don't discard your hand. <laughs> so, yeah, so there's sort of two schools. There's a few schools of thought about misinformation. Um, some people like to basically don't play anything until she flips. Um, or you can try to overwhelm uh, her uh, her number of ongoing destruction cards. Um, what do you guys? How do you guys feel about that? Playing a lot of them or playing none? Because um. right now, like we can't deal damage. <laughs> yeah. So. I'm okay to not bring them out until they're useful. Yeah, I'm okay with that. So we can go the with... The concern then is like go if with she like, pull... Go ahead. Uh, oh, I no, gonna I was going to say... Gonna say go, with... <laughs> go ahead, Jennifer. Go ahead, Jennifer. <laughs> Jennifer first. <laughs> okay. Um, well, because she has some cards that make you discard cards. So sometimes it's nice to overwhelm, but I think... That's true. You know... Since right now it's just one. Well, yeah, she's going to be destroying know. We'll one. We'll see what happens. And the threat to the president will destroy one at the end of the villain turn. So actually, I think That's I could true. get away with takedown, but we don't. Actually, we don't want takedown because we want her to play clues, right? So. Right, because she has to play clues, or we can never win. Yeah. So I'm going to skip, skip. And yeah, I think that's reasonable. What was John Mark going to say before yeah. <laughs> we were talking? Yeah. Sanvar says she's already causing team conflict. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, I could I could use Glacial Structure and draw three cards. There you go. So that is actually helpful. Yeah, so anything that gets us prepared without basically anything that draws cards um, is probably a good idea right now. Yeah, so there's questions about vengeance in the chat. Uh, I think the the main challenge about um, vengeance is going to be more the UI as opposed to uh, the engine. There's definitely going to be some stuff to deal with in the engine, but uh, we've built the game uh, in the rules engine to be very flexible about that sort of thing. Uh, about you know having more more players and uh, more villains and even more environments or whatever. So, uh, the game is pretty flexible about that. Uh, probably I would guess the trickiest thing about the rules is going to be, uh, in, in vengeance, whenever something says like, look at the top card of the villain deck, you have to choose a villain first as opposed to just the villain deck. So that's going to require, you know, adjusting a lot of, pre a lot of cards that already exist. Uh, but in the UI, you, ha you know, if you look at this current interface, you know, you have one big panel for the villain. You know, we're going to have to deal with having probably multiple panels for multiple villains. Oh, sorry, it's my turn. 
Uh, oh man, I want to play Nimble Strike, but I have to punch one of us. <laughs> I think I'm going to go, I'm just going to skip. Draw a couple cards. There, Quick Insight will be good. She does play targets sometimes, but she just didn't happen to do that. I'll double skip also. Uh, question about Vengeance being part of a Season Pass. It will be part of Season Pass 2. That is the plan. Uh, season Pass 2 is planned to include Vengeance, uh, Villains of the Multiverse, uh, the final expansion, as well as any mini packs, depending on how many there are. Oh, we can't play cards. <laughs> well. Okay, we weren't going to anyway. We need clues. It's not a very effective hostage situation. It's <laughs> true. We're just... <laughs> none of our things are doing anything because we don't have anything in play. And then we can't play anything anyway. No. Wakuki says the final expansion. Villains I look of the forward to seeing. Oh, go ahead. Uh, I was just gonna say I look forward to seeing Jeremy play against misinformation. <laughs> You're like, I can't deal damage to anything, and then he just deals damage to his own team. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh man, explosion in the lab. That's yep. So basically, I'm just gonna be skipping. Also, again. Uh, Greater Than Games have said that Villains is the penultimate expansion. There is one more expansion after Villains of the Multiverse. Uh, and Villains of the Multiverse is at the printer now, I believe, or on its way. Um, so I'm looking forward to that. Though I probably won't get to play it for a long time because I'm going to be traveling. Maybe I'll play it at PAX Australia. Man, we're sure getting lots of cards that we're probably going to have to all discard. Yeah. That's what they're probably. for. <clears throat> if you have lots of cards, then you get to keep the ones you actually want. Why does Jeremy's physical copy of Misinformation have teeth marks all over it? It's <laughs> 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 a good quote. I'm not... Sure, all of what Greater Than Games has planned next. Uh, some people talking about that in the chat. But uh, I know, you know, they have lots of other games that they're working on. You know, they have Tactics and they have Spirit Island and Sentinels RPG. There's all kinds of great projects. Um, and, you know, I think there's still a great future for the Sentinels franchise. I definitely heard you say Beard Island. Beard Island? I think. Beard Island. I'm pretty sure Christopher would make that game. Uh, yeah, given his, yeah. <laughs> Pretty epic with the facial hair. I guess the Spirit Island Kickstarter must have ended. Let's take a look. Did you get the email? Uh, it was finishing today. 48, oh, it's not over yet. So 48 minutes to go. If you want to get in on Spirit Island, you better hurry because you have 48 minutes left. If you're listening to this on YouTube, too late. Jackie, I'm just a card. Okay. And Tachyon will be happy to discard a card. We can't destroy threat to the president. Uh, I don't think we want to discard our awesome hands. Nope. Oh, and here's... Oh. So, <laughs> you guys were talking about challenging programming. Isolated Hero took uh, as much programming... And continues to take. ...entire Hero deck. Continues to take. They The alpha testers have found more problems. <laughs> I think. Or no, not with this one, with uh, the Final Wasteland. I'm sure there's probably oh, more yes, problems with this. I, I, 
I tried to cover every conceivable case with this one, but you know, there's a lot of cases of think- what this can do. So let's let's look at the card. <laughs> yeah, let's take a look at it. All right. When this card enters play, put it next to the hero character card with the most cards in play. That hero and that hero's cards cannot affect or be affected by any hero card or effect from another hero deck. That means that it's as if that hero is playing their own game versus the villain and environment, and all the other heroes are playing their own game without them. Yeah. So, like, yeah, it's there's some really weird stuff that can happen. Um, so here, whenever you're deciding who to put it on, you kind of think, try to think of either characters that aren't vulnerable and don't need as much help, or the stuff that they do doesn't necessarily affect other people. So I'm thinking probably the Wraith or Absolute Zero. Tachyon has Fleet of Foot, which we'd like to have everyone benefit from. Yeah, I'm fine to put it on Absolute Zero. Okay. Yeah. Because he mostly does stuff on his own. I mean, he does and like I to made get that plus one. And stuff, but... laterally, because we're all we were all at yeah. Because we're all just talking, yeah. <laughs> oh, I can play the game bolster allies. Expect okay. you to talk. Yeah. So here, uh, when I play bolster allies, uh, absolute zero is not going to get to draw a card. He's not in the list because he's isolated. Does that show up in like the? No, it doesn't show up in the effect list. You know, I could if, if we wanted to add that. Yeah, I think it does mention at the start of your turn, I th- or when it gets played, I think, or somewhere. It mentions, like, just sort of, hey, this is what's happening. Uh, I guess I can give us a plus one to damage. We're not going to do damage. But I already played a card, so. Okay. All right, so that actually is the first clue. Uh since it is a clue card, uh, and we need to get four or more for her to flip. So we're a quarter of the way. Sorry, which clue card? The uh, Isolated, isolated Hero is a clue. Hero. Ah. Ah, yes, okay. I guess thematically we should have chose Tempest, because he's on the card. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well. Um, let's see... Anything I should do here? I don't know. I think I'm just going to double skip. Okay. Because nothing has hit the fan yet. Do I actually want to play anything? Yeah, if you had Trust Fund or something, you could play it, but... Yeah, that would be nice. I mean, I could play the Mega Computer, but... I think I'll just get blown up. I'll just double skip and get some more cards. Maybe I'll get Trust Fund. Yep. All right, Tachyon. I kind of want to play a bunch of cards, but there's nothing I can do. You have All right. quick insight. Yeah, a quick insight is going to be a good play. I get another quick insight. And a fleet of foot. Alright, so I'm going to discard Sucker Punch. And I'm going to discard... Oh... Nimble Strike. And I'll hang on to that Lightspeed Barrage. Into the Stratosphere is interesting. I guess it would just fizzle because there's no villain target. Yeah, the only thing about that is then it'll put... Yeah, we wanted to play something else anyways, right? Right, so... it'll put the diversion back on top, which we don't really want. Does anyone have anything in their trash they want? Um... It's like a pre reclaim from the deep. Yeah, I mean, I could get bolster allies, but there's nothing... I don't know. Nothing really worth it. I'll just, I'll just draw some more cards. <laughs> <laughs> Eventually, we're gonna be able to do something awesome. By the time she flips, like attacking, it'll just like light speed barrage her. And she'll yeah, be I mean, gone. usually she's we can't use powers. Usually she's uh, played some target that we can at least attack, right? Yeah. But here we are. 
She hasn't played anything yet. Oh, it's on the It will not discard her hand. No, because we don't really have anything. Oh, we have a clue. The non-hero uh -huh. target with the lowest HP is immune to damage. Well, there's none of those. <laughs> Everything is immune. So a misplaced memo. Let's take a look at that. Um, the start of the villain turn, each hero target deals itself to psychic damage. So that's going to be happening. So I will not galvanize in that case. <laughs> and then we won't get, uh, we won't be hurting ourselves as much. Yeah, I think I'm just going to double skip for Legacy as well. Uh, we've got half of our clues, so that's good. And we don't can't use power, so... we got a couple takedowns in hand, which is nice. Okay. Um... This. Hey! And... I don't know anything effective to do, because anything I play... You can play another onboard module that you just drew. <laughs> yeah, play. I guess just to get the card. <laughs> you got another one? What? <laughs> Just keep playing them. Uh, <laughs> this is a very interesting. Game. You have all. You're gonna have all your modules in your hand. You have all but one in your hand already. No, no. you have no. There's one in your, one in your trash. Okay. Yeah, I mean, there's you. There's nothing you. Yeah, can but. Okay. <laughs> Oh, you can, right, deal some damage to yourself in order to get that in your hand. <laughs> there we go. All the modules. I don't know if That's there's anything. That's a useful strategy. I guess, right? actually, infrared eyepiece could be useful. I was thinking about grappling hook the paparazzi on the scene. I mean, we can just discard for that. Yeah. We could, but... Yeah, I think that's an okay play, though, if you want. I mean, then I could draw another card. Sure. That's what I was It's a good idea. Because I don't want to... I mean, I guess I could save it for the clues if they ever come out. Well, the clues will stay when she flips, right? So we'll want to get rid of them. Right. Well, she'll she destroy flips. one at the beginning of her turn. Yeah. Every turn. But if we can destroy them separately, it doesn't it's cause... It's better if we can... Yeah, yeah. it doesn't cause well, yeah, that damage she... trigger. Right. All right, fleet of foot. Let's all draw cards except for absolute zero. <laughs> it's like we're taunting absolute. <laughs> I need cards. <laughs> you have fourteen cards in hand. You're fine. Uh, let's see. I guess I could do another quick insight. Tachyon's gonna be ready to play all our cards at once on her turn, when she's. Yeah. Seriously. All right, I have a couple, I have a nimble strike I can discard. And I think probably one of these HUD goggles. And I just want to get, he had that lightning reflexes to play some cards. <clears throat> you can draw more cards. <laughs> That's what I'm thinking. I can just go ahead and just draw a whole bunch of cards. Pretty good. I could damage nothing. There actually oh, are a number really nice. of target cards in Misinformation's deck, but we haven't seen any of them yet. Yeah, and we can't play yeah, cards. At least uh, the bad cards from Megalopolis are coming out now when we don't want to play cards anyways. That's true. Yeah, we look at yeah this, this is the first... Her deck, she's got a few targets. She doesn't have a lot of targets, I guess. She has three targets in her whole deck. But they do tend to come out because they're diversions, and she has stuff that searches for diversions. Yeah, this is the first game I've played against her where 
haven't gotten a target in the first, like, at least, like, three turns. Yeah, this is, like, the fourth turn, right? <laughs> right. Oh, here we go. Here comes five diver the top five cards of the deck. Okay. Well, at least we know she'll flip on her next turn. And I think. There were no diversions in the top five, so they all got... And we got a clue. It's good. So we're one clue yeah, away. We two more. So insider knowledge uh, reduces damage dealt to misinformation by one. You can also see that misinformation uses Windows 95. Uh, at the start of the villain turn, move a diversion card from the villain trash into play. Do we have one in the trash? No. So that is one that we're going to want to get rid of as soon as she flips. Uh, I'm just going to skip. Draw more cards. Spirit Island hype in the chat. The numbers are going up. 36 minutes to go. Go get your Beard Island. Yeah, with, with three uh, heroes, you only need to have uh, two clues in play, so it happens pretty quickly. With five heroes, there's definitely a long, can be a long wait for that. Yeah, this is way different than uh, the last time I played against Misinformation because she was bringing out all her targets and um, and the environment was, so it wasn't, you know, we, we weren't turtling the whole game like yeah. we are here. Yeah, the environment hasn't even played a target, you're right. You may as well skip and draw more cards. We're going to have lots of options. Tempest will be ready to go. Yeah. The problem will be choosing which of your 16 cards to play. <laughs> right. <laughs> that is definitely going to be the hard part. Choosing which card to discard is not hard. I have like two of everything. <laughs> it's like, which one do I have three <laughs> of? Okay, I'll discard that. You might want to discard something you can put into play with modular realignment later. Yeah, like one of my. I think I will discard one of my razor ordinances. You sure you don't need three? I mean, I wanted to get three, <laughs> but I mean. Tachyon's getting lots of bursts in your trash. Yeah. yeah. Well, you have. Yeah, lots of copies of things. Rooftop combat. That card's going to be around for a while. We're, there's no villain character cards we can attack. <laughs> yeah. Yikes. A clue! Increase damage dealt by villain targets by one. If there's no diversions, play the top card of the villain deck at the start of the villain turn. Cool. All right, so okay. we can plan our attack now. So let's take a look at the timing of what she does. So uh, at the start of the villain turn, she's going to flip. So she doesn't do that destruction. Um, and if we look at on her flip side, at the start of the villain turn, she destroys a clue. If a clue is destroyed at the start of the villain turn, each hero target deals itself to sonic damage. Uh, then the first time a hero target deals damage to her, she reacts with three psychic damage. At the end of the villain turn, she deals uh, more damage to the lowest targets. So her other things are going to be doing stuff too. So uh, we can destroy this diversion by destroying five non-character hero cards. Uh, we can uh, discard our hand to destroy this. This one won't take effect right away, probably. Um, yeah, so actually I think we're definitely safe to start playing cards now. Um, so I think Legacy is going to start. Uh, what do you think? I could start with uh, Inspiring Presence or with Thro Takedown. You could also like get out Motivational Charge in the Legacy Ring. Yeah. 
Actually, Inspiring Presence won't do much right now. Yeah. I'll, we'll all want that next turn. So Heroic Interception yeah. for your next yeah. turn would be really nice. I don't. That's actually a card I don't have. <laughs> I know. I was, I was trying to figure out how you could actually not have that card. <laughs> yeah, I think Takedown is good. So she won't be playing because she's going to be playing extra cards, right? Potentially. So let's just stop her from playing cards. And I'm not going to use the plus one because it's not going to be needed because we're hitting ourselves. Yeah. So. Don't hit yourself. And I don't have next evolution either, so I couldn't make myself immune to. I don't have a fortitude. Like, I don't have the cards I would want to play right now. But... All right, Absolute Zero, you're on your own. Maybe when we have voice chat, uh, we can make it so the isolated hero can't hear anyone. <laughs> that would be a little bit mean. <laughs> be thematic, though. Why? What you put, are you, like, what are you doing? On, oh, put headphones I don't know. over their little. Why are you icon? hitting? Why, why are you doing that? Do you want to rewind? <laughs> yes. Just like force of habit. I, 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 yeah. I think it was force of habit. It's like if I just played isothermic, I must. I mean, you could actually, play yeah, point instead. Yeah, let's actually, go back. Back to play a card. That was just me going on autopilot. But... Yeah. All right. Okay. There we go. That is a better result. <laughs> Plus two HP instead of minus five. Yeah. All right, Wraith can start to get set up. All right. I will impromptu invent. Yeah, because you'll be hitting yourself, combat stance is uh, yeah. not very good yeah. either. I could go ahead and put infrared eyepiece out. She, well, she isn't going to be playing cards, so. That's true. For, a couple, for at least one turn. We'll do Stunbolt. Yeah, Stunbolt would be, yeah, that's a good choice. That'll be a nice thing yeah. to have. Yeah, combat stance would yeah, not be that'll useful. Actually, you can't use Stun Bolt because she's not a target yet. Right, I can't use but it for yet. later. I yeah. can, I'll stick out a utility yeah. belt for. I guess you can use Stun Bolt Ooh. to get one of us, but I don't recommend it. I was going to say I could Stun Bolt myself, but it <laughs> probably not seem like it. a good idea. No. Yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Stealth is the actually. Like, if if you use stealth and then stun bolt yourself, you won't do any damage, but you'll do less damage to yourself later. I don't know. <laughs> right. That's why I was thinking about doing it. But... It might be worth it, actually. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's it's a, it's a bold it's a bold oh, strategy. Oh, I can't do it because it won't. Will it take effect? It will. It, won't it will still take effect. Anything. Yeah. Stun bolt doesn't okay. require damage to be dealt. Okay. They're asking if there's an announcement on mini pack three being released, but they mean mini pack two. We are just previewing it right now. It is not finished. So there are still bugs and it is not ready to go. I also never got pushing the limits and all of that, if you can believe it. So HUD goggles. Um, do we want to get rid of rooftop combat or do we want that plus one? Because I could get rid of it. Thoughts? Uh, it's gonna make her do more damage to us on her turn. But we'll be able to use it next turn to do her more damage. But only a limited amount, really. It'd probably be worse for us, actually, to have that card out, so... I'll get rid of it. Yeah, go for it. Though, actually, I want my blinding speed for ongoing cl for clues. Yeah. Forget what I just said. I'm gonna play other things. I need to save that card. I feel isolated. I'm isolated. I don't think I'm going to use Sonic Vortex very much. There's not many targets in this fight. I could into the stratosphere something now. Uh, yeah. 
or cleansing downpour. Actually, this would be an excellent time for cleansing downpour. Nothing like some healing rain. <laughs> Before <laughs> she flips and... When she flips, we're just going to be hammering her. It's going to be great. Yeah. Oh, and the environment doesn't play cards because we ripped off combat. That's good. Good, actually. Excuse me. All right. So now we have a choice of uh, which clue she's so, going to destroy. Yeah. So she'd be immune to damage if we don't get rid of misplaced yes. memo. I th yeah. Misplaced memo is bad. Uh, this one's bad because there's damage reduction. Uh, this one. No. Yeah. Let's. Yeah. <laughs> misplaced, misplaced memo we have to play because she's immune to damage right now. She's the only target. And we can use our other cards to get rid of uh, things, so. Actually, and I'm going to use Synaptic Interruption to have her hit herself, and she'll react and hit herself. Yay. Yay. Oh, wait. Oh, she hits she me? Hit you. Yeah. You're hit, you were hitting yourself. Oh, I was hitting myself. Oh. So you redirected your hitting yourself to her, but then that just, the net it was just the oh. tachyon deals. Can we re, I would rather not do that. I, <laughs> I can't back. imagine why. I, I, there will be an opportunity where she'll probably hit tachyon, so I will take that damage for myself. You're right. That's the thing I like about Synaptic Interruption, is that it's optional. You can save it for a later time. Uh, oh. Right. Do you want to this should say five cards, not a card. Bug report. Uh, I'll write it down. I would say no, let's not destroy five cards right now. Uh, and let's not discard her hands, unless someone wants to discard their hand. Nope. No, I don't really want to do that. Alright, now she's dealing damage, so I'm gonna... Let's choose, uh, Tachyon, and then I'll redirect it back. That's what I want. Now hit yourself, angrily. <laughs> and here the order won't matter. Uh, so the Wraith or Tachyon is going to have to destroy a card. I can destroy Research Grant, no problem. Okay. And then, yeah, you're still going to have to destroy one because you have three or more cards in play. So, one of us is going to have to destroy a card. Mm. Alright, now it's time to bring the pain. Uh, so I can do another takedown, or I can just start, like, giving us buffs. Um, or I could do motivational charge if you want to avoid buffs due to self-damage, but... Yeah, that's the tricky thing with any buffing of us, is that we end up hurting ourselves. Yeah, she will be destroying... Mm -hmm. Oh wait, no, actually, we can destroy all the clues before she goes. Because uh, Tachyon has Blinding Speed and Tempest has Ball Lightning. So we can destroy ah. all of those clues. Yeah, because I can destroy two and actually, of them. Actually, you can destroy them on your turn, Jean-Marc, with Field Freeze. Which would probably be a really good play. Uh, so what is that? why don't we do that? Um... Cause, um, Sorry, I was reading the chat. I missed that last thing. If you play Field Freeze, you could destroy all three of them. Okay. And that will remove the damage reduction and stuff that she's that she has. Sure. Uh, cool. So I'm going to play Inspiring Presence. Uh, which yeah. Um, Biz for Yoshi and Draco Tumillion just pointed out another bug. 
I don't think she's supposed to hit herself. Isn't it only when a hero target hits her? Oh yeah, that's right. She shouldn't have reacted. Well, we're going to take full advantage of that bug. <laughs> and yes, her logo is the Upside Down Freedom 5 logo. Looks right side up when she looks down. Also, her mask is prescription eye holes. I like that. <laughs> Absolute zero, we can see you again. Six damage. Awesome. And you heal for four. <laughs> So I can hypersonic assault, but if you happen to have throat jab, that would be fine too. Oh, looks like you don't. It would be great if I had that. Um, uh, I'll do that on my turns to stop her from reacting. Let's see. Yeah, because I don't want to put like combat stance or things like that. I guess I could. But yeah, we're not doing self damage anymore, so. You could do combat stance. I would like to, yeah. I would like to stun bolt her. Yeah, I can put a combat stance. Yeah, all these bonuses are adding up pretty nicely. Yeah, that actually worked out nicely. <laughs> I just did like nine damage. And now we're not on the rooftops anymore. We can take her out, I think. Well, my trash has ten like, burst cards, and I can play two cards, so... Right, you could play both of your lightspeed barrages. Yep, that's gonna happen. <laughs> she only, like, lasted one round when she was flipped. Not even. Like, this... She ha this is... Like, that's true, Tempest didn't even, didn't get, even to get to Tempest's turn. <laughs> Tachyon never used the power. <laughs> it's like the ending image. I, this is the first time I've seen it. Yeah. She is not happy. Yeah. No, she is not. <laughs> her eyeball is like coming out of her head. So that was four relatively easy games in a row. Yes. Uh, yeah. That worked out pretty well. Uh, maybe we're just uh, gifted at Sentinels. Maybe we're just awesome. <laughs> That's probably not true. We probably it's don't know anything like about this game. The game before. <laughs> cool. Alrighty. So um, that is that. Um, I know that the meet the team John thing is scheduled for at the end of this. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do it now instead of waiting for like forty for like an hour and fifteen minutes. No, it, but what about like minutes. the hundreds of people who are scheduled to check in when John's Q and A is? They can watch it on YouTube later. <laughs> okay. Um. Oh, Viz uh The music is not done yet for her. Um. So. Uh, for misinformation. Unless you wanted to play a quick game in between. Uh. Well, yeah, I'm, I'm good to go ahead and do my thing. So okay. um, let me see if I can make a video of me on the stream. Maybe. Device, FaceTime HD camera. It doesn't seem to be showing anything. I think Skype might be trying. My, Skype might have stolen it. Uh, so I'll just use my voicey voice instead of my talky talk. Well, we can end the Skype call. Uh, no, that's okay. It's good to have you guys. You can ask, ask more questions and stuff. Um, yeah.